is so much harder than what I was doing. I was playing, and I've done this before, single notes. Or, um, uh, I've been, I'm playing single notes right there. He's playing, like, they're chords essentially. He's playing multiple strings at one time, which makes it harder for your fingers. So hold on, hold on. We gotta check the tuning already. Um, cat, back up, back up, or I will cut you on a leap's behalf. D G C. Oh, y'all told me how to translate the Atis Kabawa. Uh, D G C G B D. I guess that's low to high. Anyways, I think it's low to high. So if you look at the B and the D on his two higher strings, those are thirds. B to D is a minor third. And, um, and so it's enabling him to do some really cool harmonies on the melody line that would otherwise be a little too difficult because of your fingering. Mm. Every finger is being used. Using that pinky for tempo. There. Okay, let me show you, because it's happening in a bunch, and so obviously I'm not tuned like him, but let me give you some demonstrations of what, I, of what I'm talking about. Um, so this G and B, um, so I could go, or with a harmony, but for the harmony, right, I could hold two fingers down, and hammer on with two fingers, and pull off with two fingers. See, I mean, it's much harder. I mean, you can just see that it's much more difficult than what I was doing. stuff he's doing is quite nice. I gotta be honest, I'm not gonna keep that up for the entire video. That's, that's, that's way too much effort. Oh, being a YouTuber is so hard. Carry on, Aleep. He's always so good. Extremely hard. Sorry, 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 sorry. I can't help but want to play that every time I hear it, okay? I can't help it. I just want to play it. <laughs> every time I hear it, I think of Rocky, even though, fun fact, Rocky never actually had that song in the movie. 
Yeah, I know, I know. I, I thought it was in there too, but it's apparently not. Really what you want to pay attention to here is probably the least cool sounding part, but it's his bass notes. His control of the bass notes is is really good. Uh, I always think when you play guitar like this, you think of actual humans singing like a low bass voice, boom, dum, da, dum, in a high voice, right? And you let every person sing naturally. And the bass, our bass voice is doing a really good job. The way he spices songs up is beyond me. He's throwing in, he's pretty much staying true to the song, but he threw in a little bit of blues and then he, that little, that little thing he throws in, that's like a classical thing that you do on a, on a classical guitar. But it works. He can throw it in there and it's like, oh, that's a nice little, uh, that's a nice little thing you threw in there to make the song sound a little bit more interesting and unique. Yes. That part is sick. It just, ah, it just sounds... I mean, it's such an easy thing to do. But it just sounds so sweet and smooth, and it just... It spices up any song, really. I need to steal his, like... I want to say steal, I mean practice my face off, because I do not have any of this pinky slapping. All of my percussion is always coming from whacking the strings, which he does a lot of that, but... Ah, it's so ridiculous. Ah, he's so good. Hmm. Yeah. That part was nasty, in a good way, obviously. Okay, okay, all right, I'm done. I'm done, I'm done, all right? I'm done, I can't help it. I love that. 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 I like that. Uh, what did he do? I already forgot. <laughs> Keep going. But oh, the uh, where he's like, uh, um, nope, that doesn't sound right. Uh, nope, that's not it. But he's like, uh, that doesn't sound right, but he's doing something like that. Watch his right hand, and he almost always has this shape as if there was like a little tennis ball in his hand. And no matter what happens, no matter what he plays, he immediately goes back to it. He goes right back to this really stable position of play. Oh no. That is sick. Wait, is this where the Elite Special comes? I think this is where the Elite Special comes, and he puts his own twist on it. I knew it. Ooh. 
Well, you know, just since we're talking about technique, this little part here, back up. He starts off doing some um, triplets, uh, if you want to count them, and that's the beat. One alet, two alet, one alet, two alet, triplet, 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 right? Right here. So there, he's he's hammering on. Um, I don't I don't know what notes he's doing, but he's doing more like a uh, right, and then and that's more chordal right hand technique and he's using these three fingers for the majority of his uh thing so he's going uh, had to do the harmonics whoa that sounded cool Slides were impeccable. <laughs> yeah, nobody else in the world plays a leap like guitar. I, I mean, what? Nobody in the world plays guitar like a leap. That was weird. There's a little bit of everything in there. It's, it's so hard to emulate. <laughs> Sick. You could hear the change. Could you hear the change? That is blues. That that was a blues lick that he threw in there. And he always does that. I love that. He always throws in, and I've said this before, he's either he either grew up playing blues or classical or both. And I think he probably grew up playing both. But you can hear the change in the notes. That is a hundred percent through and through a blues lick. Right here. Man, he is <laughs> Like the most epic guitar song, even though the actual song isn't on guitar, it's on the synthesizer. Dude, he makes it so much harder to play. Does he teach himself this stuff? How does he learn how to play this? I've never thought about that. <laughs> that was sick.